To be honest, I don't even know what Washington will do with this NATO high-ranking officer because of his overly frank interview that he gave to American reporters from the Politico edition. The words of the chairman of the NATO Military Committee, Lieutenant Admiral of the Royal Netherlands Navy, Rob Bauer, are still being discussed by all world media, including news channels in Ukraine. In particular, Rob Bauer said that the Russian army had proven many times throughout history that it can recover and intercept the initiative on the battlefield within a very short time. The West should never underestimate the Russians and their ability to adapt quickly and get out of seemingly the most difficult situations, Lt. Admiral Rob Bauer said. The NATO officer also added that unfortunately the Ukrainian army does not have these abilities, and therefore, the armed forces of Ukraine are now in a very difficult position. Rob Bauer also acknowledged the fact that the Russian army is the only threat to NATO, as the experience gained during this war has made the Russian army a very formidable force that will be very difficult to stop. A senior NATO officer also added that the West should make every effort to prevent Russia from winning, otherwise, the Russian army will know no equal for many decades to come. Meanwhile, while in the West they were trying to come to their senses after such frank words of a high-ranking NATO officer, Ukrainian General Alexander Sersky, who has been trying to stop the Russian onslaught on the Bakhmut direction for more than a month, shocked the West with his statement that the Russians can break through to the city of Chesivyar at any moment. In fact, the Ukrainian general admitted that the Russians had launched an offensive on the strategically important city of Chesivyar, thereby causing a lot of questions not only from the Western military, but also from anti-Russian bloggers. They cannot understand how, after the departure of PMC Wagner Group, the Russian army managed not only to stop the offensive of the 24 well-armed Ukrainian brigades in the Bakhmut direction, but also to seize the initiative and, in fact, launch an offensive on the city of Chesivyar. In his defense, General Sersky says that Russian aviation and the numerous minefields that the Russians left after the departure of musicians are to blame for everything. Meanwhile, a well-known anti-Russian blogger with the nickname Bakhmut Demon was also forced to admit the unenviable position of the Ukrainian forces throughout the front line. According to him, this is a real disaster, everything is bad, the Ukrainian forces are literally stuck in one place and cannot move forward even one inch. The blogger is also shocked by the fact that the Russian army has doubled its firepower. Russian artillery works 24 hours a day. I don't understand where the Russians get such a large number of artillery shells, said a blogger with the nickname Bakhmut Demon. At the moment, the Russian army is engaged in fierce battles for the settlement of Bogdanovka. If the Russians manage to capture this strategically important settlement, then the risk of the encirclement of the Ukrainian group located in the city of Chesivyar will increase significantly. And it seems only General Zeluzny understands the seriousness of the situation. Insiders claim that General Zeluzny is literally begging the key of authorities to stop the offensive and somehow save the remaining reserves of the Ukrainian army. Zeluzny suggests key of authorities wait for the F-16 fighter jets and only then begin the offensive. However, judging by what is happening at the front, the key of authorities refused to listen to General Zeluzny, sending all new reserves of the armed forces of Ukraine to certain death.